Hey there. We have a mystery box to dig into, but I'm having some problems. I can't open it. Ooh. The latch is too strong, but I know somebody that can help us. Hey, Blaster. The Blaster. It's so good to see you. <laughs> Could you help us open this mystery box? Hey, thanks, Blaster. Let's see what's inside. Oh, look at all these balls in here. There's tons, Blaster. There's lots of fun things in here. Woo! All right, what's our first thing we're gonna pull out? Whoa, whoa, oh, it's a tie. These go around your neck. And then you can tie them up, kinda like this. I'm not gonna do a great job, but just to show you how they look. And then, you can have a nice tie on your neck. How do I look, Blaster? All right. Now take a closer look on the tie. On this tie, we have the periodic table. The periodic table shows all of the elements on our planet. I think my favorite element is O, which stands for oxygen. But this isn't the only type of tie there is. In fact, in the mystery box, I see another tie. A bow tie! These go around your neck too. And they look like this. How do I look in this one, Blaster? Okay, I'll let you wear it. Here you go. The Blaster's bow tie. Looking pretty good, Blasty. How does that look? <laughs> nice, Blaster. Okay, you can wear it for a little bit. Let's see what else is in the mystery box. Ooh. Do you know what these are called? Well, if you said binoculars, you're correct. Binoculars help us see things that are really far away. Hey there, hey there. You wanna see what it looks like when you look through binoculars? Well, Blaster, why don't you show them? Three, two, one. Ha-ha! Hey, pretty cool. Let's see what else is in the mystery box. Oh, this animal is one of my favorites. It can live on the land and it spends a lot of time swimming in water. Do you know what type of animal this is? <laughs> That's right, it's a hippo. Let's spell hippo. H-I-P-P-O. Hey, that's kind of fun to spell. H-I-P-P-O. H-I-P-P-O. Hippo. Hey, Blaster, can you teach us more about these cool animals? All right, here we go. The hippopotamus, or hippo, is the third largest land mammal. The second largest land mammal is the white rhino. And the number one spot belongs to elephants. But enough about that, let's get back to hippos. These land mammals love the water, typically spending 16 hours in the water each day. These handsome hippos are able to hold their breath for five minutes, making them exceptional swimmers. Wow, it looks hot where hippos live. All that time in the hot sun would cause most of us to end up with burned skin, but not for a hippo. Hippos produce a red liquid that act as a natural sunblock. And now it's time for Gross Trivia. Here's your question. What is another name for hippo poop? Is it A, bung, B, dung, C, fung, or D, hippos don't poop? The correct answer is dung. Animal poop is sometimes referred to as dung. And on that note, Blaster, let's get out of here. Hippos are totally tubular, man. All right, what else is in this mystery box? Oh, whoa, what does this thing do? It'll suck up water and then spit it out? I think I wanna see this, but I don't wanna do it here. Let's go somewhere else.
Oh, that was fun. Let's go find what else is in our mystery box. Whoa. I don't know what you call this, but I've seen them before. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now I'll put my hand on this side. And all the little nails come through so you can see my hand on that side. It makes a cool imprint, Blaster. Here, Blaster, you wanna to try to imprint your face? Okay, here we go. How does it look, Blaster? Uh, kind of okay. I think you're too big. Let me try my face. Do you see my mouth and my nose? Yeah, kind of. Well, this is fun. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Anything can be music blaster. I don't know what you call this, but I like it a lot. And there's another musical instrument in here. Oh, cymbals. These are called symbols. And what do you do with symbols? You're right, Blaster. You clank them together. Let's go. Lots of music in today's mystery box. Blaster, I see something inside the mystery box that I wasn't expecting. Inside the mystery box is another mystery box. What will be in this one? Well, it has some bells on top of it. Nice. That could also be a musical instrument. This mystery box, I bet it has a lot of fun goodies in it. Whoa. It is filled with toys. Let's look at some of them. Oh, I love these. This is a sticky hand. I wonder if we can catch some of the pom-poms on the table with this sticky hand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. God. Here we go. I got the hand. Now I'll try to stick it. Oh, it stuck to the table, Blaster, but it didn't. Get one of the pom-poms. Try it one more time. No, I think it's just gonna stick to the table. It might stick to you, Blaster. You wanna try? Woo! <laughs> there you go. Nice! I got gotcha. you. Don't worry. Let's see what else is in the mystery box inside the mystery box. A lot more of these squishy hands. Oh, and these. <laughs> nice, Blaster. Hmm, some sort of cool egg. Whoa, this cool egg opens and turns into some sort of contraption. Wow, that'll be fun. Oh, look at this. And it looks like a snake or a caterpillar. Oh, wow. Actually, this could be a really great bracelet blaster. That's hard to say. This could be a really great bracelet blaster. <laughs> Let's see, it connects at the end, just like a bracelet would. And there we go. How do I look with my bracelet? Nice. And what else do we have in here? Oh, you know what everybody loves? A little tiny slinky with a happy face on it. Let's open it up. Whoa! 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 These are fun, Blaster. Cool. Oh, and a little tiny animal. I don't know what type of animal this one is. Kind of looks like a salamander, or maybe it's a tiny little dinosaur. I don't know. We'll have to use our imagination on this one. What do you think this animal is? What does it look like to you? No wrong answers. Whatever you think it looks like is what it can be. So we're using our imagination. Nice. There's another one in here. I think this one looks like... What do you think? 
I think this looks like a penguin. <laughs> I love penguins. Hello, I'm a little penguin. Boop, 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 boop. Nice. Oh, and I think I know what animal this is. We all know this animal. They typically move really slow and they carry their house around on their back. That's right, it's a turtle. This looks like a turtle to me. And it's really squishy and stretchy. This is a cool turtle. We have a pig that acts as a car. Go pig, go! Oh, he ran in a circle, try again. Here pig. Goodbye! Oh, this one likes to go in a circle. Maybe the bunny rabbit car will go in a straight line. Go rabbit, go! Not very good. Try again. Blaster, are you laughing at me? <laughs> okay, here we go. Go rabbit, yeah! Nice. And finally, we have the tiger. All right, he went right to the rabbit. Fun. Oh, and what are these? Do you have any guesses? <laughs> yeah, these are a type of bracelet called slap bracelets. And you wanna know why they call them that? Because when you put them on, you just slap them against your wrist. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I got them all. One, two, three, four, five new bracelets. Blaster, the mystery box inside the mystery box was super fun. And there's even more stuff in here that we didn't get to. Well, we'll have to get to it another time. Whoa, because there's more stuff in the main mystery box. All right, what's next in the mystery box? Oh, a trophy. Trophies are given to people who do something really great. And I think you're really great, so I'm gonna give this trophy to you for being great. Blaster, this is their trophy. Here you go. We'll put it right here for you. Whoa. Whoa. A big dragon blaster. This thing is cool. It has a long tail, and it looks like it can breathe fire. Whoa, I love this. Another animal out of the mystery box. This has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tentacles. Do you know what kind of animal it is? Yes, it's an octopus. Did you know that an octopus can fit through a tiny hole as small as their eye? That means this whole octopus can move through a tiny little space just as big as the eye on the side of their head. This makes these animals some of the coolest in the ocean. Blaster, little help please. Eight arms known as tentacles and a body that can change colors and seamlessly blend in with its surroundings the octopus comes with a toolkit of very cool adaptations. One of the coolest is their ability to shoot a cloud of ink to escape predators. Predators get confused and believe that the ink cloud is the octopus. By the time the predator realizes it's an ink cloud and not the octopus, our cunning friend has swum away. There are hundreds of species of octopus and most of them are harmless to humans. But the blue ringed octopus is considered by many to be one of the most dangerous marine animals. This is because they carry a strong venom. Believe me, you don't wanna to touch one of these treacherous but beautiful ocean animals. Oh, I did not know all of that about octopus blaster. Very cool. What's next? Oh, a little slingshot rocket. <laughs> Love it, Blaster. Let's go outside and play with this.
only a few more items left in the mystery box. Ooh, a slithering snake blaster. This was in there with the dragon. Wow, this snake is big. S snake, S snake. What letter does S snake start with? That's right, an S. Oh, some cool cars, Blaster. We have one of these construction vehicles. That's awesome. And a super fast yellow car. Un carro amarillo. That's how you say it in Spanish, Blaster. Un carro amarillo. Wow. You know what? I've seen a lot of cars, but I haven't seen a lot of construction vehicles. Can we go see these guys in action? Okay, let's go. Construction vehicles are powerful machines that are used in a variety of different ways. They can clear land, break up rocks, construct buildings, and transport large objects. Let's check out the excavator. One cool thing about excavators is that instead of tires, they roll around on treads. Now, if you need help constructing something high in the sky, look toward the crane. This crane is helping construct a tall building. You may have noticed construction vehicles get dirty. Watch this bulldozer dig through dirt, sand, and mud. Which construction vehicle was your favorite? Whoa! Maybe one day we'll get to go drive our very own construction vehicle blaster. Oh, a triceratops. Oh, a stegosaurus. Oh, a pterodactyl. Oh, a brachiosaurus. And blaster, what is this one called? Oh a Pachycephalosaurus. These had really strong heads. Blaster, I already know about these dinosaurs, so can we go learn about this dinosaur? Cool, here we go. You can call this dinosaur a bona fide bonehead. The skull of a Pachycephalosaurus was 10 inches thick. Some scientists believe they used their strong skulls to headbutt one another, kind of like this. The Pachycephalosaurus lived about 65 million years ago. And guess which dinosaur was also living at that time? That's right, it's the Tyrannosaurus Rex. But even with really strong heads, if you were a Pachycephalosaurus, you still wouldn't want to have a face-off with a T-Rex. That's a battle you're definitely going to lose. The Pachycephalosaurus didn't eat other dinosaurs. Instead, it is believed to have eaten plants, nuts, and berries. This Pachycephalosaurus is so cool, Blaster. Thanks for teaching us. Well, I don't think there's anything left in the mystery box. There is. Blaster, there isn't. I'm looking in here. Look again. Okay. Oh, you are right. There is a green box in here. But what do I do with this? Yeah, I see the handle. Crank it. All right. What am I doing this for? I don't get this blast. Ow! Oh! <laughs> Baba blast. <laughs>